Hello kids. Today we are going to revise the lesson. Lesson number two. Kinds of plants. Kinds of plant means we are going to revise the lessons exercise because you have soon exam. You have exam. So now already we learned this one lesson. Again, once time we are going to revise the lesson, and before going to revise the exercise, we revise the revision portion. Lessons revision revise is there. Let us revise one. Plants are important for all living things. Plants are important for all living things. Two. Plants. on the basis of size can be classified as herbs shrubs trees creepers and climbers plants on the basis of size can be classified as herbs shrubs trees creepers and climbers okay here revising the lesson over now we revise the exercise match the columns already we did it because when we learn the lesson when we finish this one topic we exercise also solve this one so just we are revising this one a column and b column two columns are there read the a columns first and b columns and try you try own to join this one without seeing okay lady finger lady finger plant is a shrub so join lady join lady finger to shrub lotus it is a water plant aquatic fenugreek it is a small plant herbs mango mango plant is tree is a tree okay now turn the page here see number 2 state whether the following statements are true or false yeah. already we make it we made it we did it true false true false but we must we should revise this one a plants are found everywhere on earth plants are found everywhere on earth true b herbs are small plants with the soft green stems herbs are small plants with the soft green stems true c bushes and shrubs are one and the same bushes and shrubs are one and the same yes true d trunk is soft green stem of a herb false trunk is soft green stem of herbs false e aquatic plants grow in desert wrong so we write here false f the money plant is a creeper money plant is a creeper false it is a climber so it is a right here false okay next question question number 3 fill in the blanks fill in the blanks already we filled it but again we revise it this one a the rough and woody stem of a tree is called trunk the rough and woody stem of a tree is called trunk b a coconut tree grow very tall a coconut tree grow very tall c a dash we want we fill here by a fenugreek a fenugreek plant has a soft stem fenugreek fenugreek plant has a soft stem d a rose plant is a shrub rose plant is a shrub e the watermelon plant grow the watermelon plant grows along the ground watermelon plants grows along the ground f yeah. brinjal plants grow on sorry brinjals only 
brinjals grow on brinjals grow on shrubs means brinjals plants are shrubs brinjal plants are shrubs understood brinjal grow on brinjals grow on shrubs now we is going to see the question answers answer the following questions a differentiate between creepers and clambers differentiate between creepers and clambers see answer is differentiation between creepers and clambers one side written here creepers and one side clambers one creepers have weak stem creepers have weak stems climbers too have weak stem they need to support of the other plants pole etc second point they grow on ground creepers grow on ground climbers take the support of the other plant or poles or walls etc to grow three their fruits are large and heavy creepers plants fruits are large and heavy climbers their fruits climbers plants climbers fruits are small and hang from their stem climbers fruits are small and hang from their stems okay now last question b how are plants identified on the basis of size how are the plants identified on the basis of size give example of each type question b how are plants identified on the basis of size give example of each type a question questions the question b is answer plants that grow tall and have strong trunk are called trees plants that grow tall and have strong trunk are called tree example mango tree banyan tree neem tree etc second plants that grow along the ground with a large and heavy fruits are called creepers example watermelon and pumpkin next one plants plants that take the support of the other plants or poles or wall etc to grow and hang, hang their fruits in the air are called climbers example bottle guard snake guard grape vines next is plants that have tender stems and do not grow high are called herbs plants that have tender stems and do not grow high are called herbs example grass fenugreek spinach etc plants plants that are taller than the herbs are called shrubs plants that are taller than the herbs are called shrubs example they are strong woody stem and can stand erect example lady finger brinjal etc here first le second lessons revision over okay now we are going to revise the next lesson next topic which one topic lesson number 3 topics num name number is 3 name is parts of a plant topic 3 parts of a plant okay so turn the page see first we revise the revision means lessons re revise okay we revise the lesson in small points Okay, in short points, we revise the lesson. Short points. 
let us revise let us listen revise one the different parts of a plant the different parts of a plant are the root stem leaves flowers and fruits the different parts of a plant are root stem leaves flowers and fruits two the roots grow below the ground and the shoot includes all the part of the plant the roots grow below the ground the shoot include all the parts of the plant that grow above the ground example stem branches leaves flowers fruits and seeds etc 3 the roots of a plant the roots of a plant help it to stand firmly in the soil the stem give it support above the ground the roots of a plant help it to stand it firmly in the soil and the stem gives it support above the ground okay next c fourth point is the stem also carries the stem also carries food water and other useful substances to the different parts of the plant the stem also carries food water and other useful substances to the different parts of the plant number 5 leaves prepare food for the plants and thus call the kitchen of the plant leaves prepare food for the plant and thus call the kitchen of the plant next point is 6 flowers grow into fruits which contain seeds 7 seeds grow into a new plants when they are planted in soil and receive adequate sunlight air and water seeds grow into new plant when they are planted in soil and they receive when they receive adequate sunlight air and water understood kids here our revision lesson revise over now we are going to revise the exercise match the columns match the columns a and b two columns are there read this one and match already we match this one but again once time you do this one a in this a column first one main root main root is a tap root yes main root is a tap root two types of roots are there fibrous root and tap roots in roots main root is a tap root two reproductive organ of a plant which is the reproductive organ of a plant in plants flowers flower is the reproductive organ of the plant three kitchen of plant kitchen of plants leaves kitchen of plants leaves four tiny opening for breathing in plants stomata tiny opening for breathing in plants they are called stomata okay so see second question state whether the following statements are true or false state whether the following statements are true or false we already did it but now again one time we are going to revise a all plants have tap roots false it is a false because some plants have fibrous root some plants have tap root not all plants have tap root right here root here written here false no yes b the stem absorb water from the soil wrong it is a wrong right here a wrong because roots absorb the water from the soil c creepers have weak stems yes creepers have weak stems so it is right here true d the stem grows below the soil no the stem grow above the soil so it is a false question 3 fill in the blanks question 3 fill in the blanks already we filled it but we'll read and revise this one a the flat broad part of a leaf is called lamina flat broad part of a leaf is called lamina b 
the process by which plants prepared food is called in place blank you write here photosynthesis the process by which plants prepared food is called photosynthesis see the roots of plant grow the roots of plant grow inside the soil d fruits grow out of flowers fruits grow out of flowers e the green stuff substance the green substance present in leaves is called chlorophyll the green substance present in leaves is called chlorophyll so next turn the page see what is there question answers are there no answer the following questions answer the following questions question 1 name the two types of roots and give one example of each question a name the two types of roots and give example of each answer the two types of roots are the tap root and the fibrous root tap root and fibrous root example tap root example mango tree term tamarind tree fibrous root grass or banana next b question leaves are known as kitchen of plant why leaves are known as kitchen of plant why during the process of photosynthesis plants prepare their food in leaves with the help of water absorbed through roots chlorophyll sunlight and carbon dioxide taken from air hence leaves are called kitchen of plants understood next question is what are the functions of stem what are the functions of a stem answer the stem gives support to the plant the stem gives support to the plant with the help of roots it carries the food prepared by the leaves to the all parts of the plant it also carries water absorbed by the roots and other useful substances to the all parts of the plant it is the function of the stem understood next question look here d give two functions each of the flowers and fruits of a plant write two two functions two function for flowers and two functions of fruits give two examples two functions of each of flowers and fruits of a plant first we will see flowers flowers with their nectar attract insects and butterflies they grow into fruits and produce seeds which in turn give birth to new plant okay so next is fruit fruits fruits produce and fruits produce and protect seeds they store food which is eaten by living things fruits produce and protect seeds they store food which is eaten by living things last question state two differences between roots and stem differences between roots and stems look here kids roots stems and roots difference between the stem and roots roots the part of the plant that grow inside the soil and is called the root okay roots grow inside the soil and stems is a part important part of a plant that grow generally that grow above the soil stem grow above the soil 
understood it is the difference between the root and stem now question last one five label the different parts of a pea plant shown below here plant is given you see the plant picture and label the parts already we labeled it but again one time you revise this one a it is a fruit b flowers c leaf d stem understood it is the stem it is the leaf it is the flower and it is the fruit this time you revise read the lesson revise the revision uh, lesson revi revision and revise the exercise along with question answers by this question answers understood kids thank you for watching the